Hi, my name is Marietta Mahani and this aqua tip was inspired by one of my aqua mentorees, Karen Kuo. Now she had a quite different one where she was actually using it and using the wall but it got me thinking and I was thinking I've never really tried some of those exercises but without the wall and I really like this one so let me place a board you're going to sit on the board right so sitting on the board then your legs are going to be up in front and you're going to move your legs sideways now you have to use your arms effectively to help pull your legs across now I've never done this with the board. I've always performed this with either a noodle or with dumbbells. But it's a very different experience with just the board because I have to be very mindful of how my body's moving to the water so that I stay on the spot and I don't lose my board. So the arms are sweeping across the body. Fingers are very wide apart and I'm trying to swing my legs as far across my body as I possibly can. And what's it working? My abdominals and my upper body. Legs, nothing. But just the abdominals. As I try to pull my legs across from side to side. Fingers open, pulling over through the water. It's a cool exercise. You really have to use your upper body and it takes concentration because you've got to get in your head, how do I move my legs from side to side? Really like this exercise. I would insert it as a strength exercise for recovery from doing cardio, yeah, I, I like it a lot. And that is this week's Aqua Tip. This week's Aqua Tip is probably best demonstrated on the floor. And I'll show you why. Because you're going to need the floor to help move your legs across the floor or across from side to side. If you're on a chair, you'll probably feel a little insecure and it will be hard to balance. So, you ask your clients to sit on the board and so you've got your body down on the board and of course if you have a wet pool deck this is not such a big deal because well you don't have to worry about um, a wet pool deck to sit on because you have that dry board underneath you then legs out in front and you ask them to move their legs from side to side using your arms so just touch the microphone there. So arms go across the body. So it requires a little bit of core activation when you're on land. Do try to keep your feet together and lift your legs up slightly and lean back slightly to be able to demonstrate the side to side motion. Now the arms are really important. Remember this particular exercise is not about what the legs are feeling. So don't even refer to what they'll feel in their legs because you'll feel nothing there. It's all about what they feel in their uh, torso and in their upper body. And it is a little bit of a brain thing. So I would also recommend that as an instructor, you let them know that. Okay, your brain's gonna have to start working this out. How are you able to get your legs from side to side and you'll only be able to use your arms and give them the opportunity to process that. The other thing that I would recommend with this exercise is just make sure that they keep their toes turned upwards and that's going to stop them from coming off the board because sometimes people will lean to try to get their feet to go across. Of course, once you do that, the board is going to come up from underneath the body. So I would recommend them to just go a little bit and then as they gain their confidence, 
to make that movement bigger as they feel more comfortable and as they are able to create more power with their upper body. And that is this week's Aqua Tip.